What is going on guys? Stealth X Rift here playing Enchanted Arms and I can't say Oh <laughs> a bit earlier than the Xbox. I can't tell you how excited I am to play this. It's one of my all time favourite games. Um It came out in two thousand and six. It was not really talked about. I didn't hear a lot of people talk about it at the time. Probably because at the, to this day it's one of those games that's just widely hated. By so many people. I'm not sure why. I mean, yeah, okay, some of it's not great. Animations aren't brilliant. The, well, talking between uh, characters is not the best in the world. But, it's one of those things I just love. I love the animation. I love the, the storyline. And so, we're just going to get straight into it. I'm going to try not to talk over too many of the cutscenes, but this cutscene you actually see a bit later on anyway. We're actually... It's very different. So for those of you who've played the PS3 version, this is a very different beginning to the PS3 version. I'm not entirely certain why they changed it. I'm not entirely sure if they came out different years or what, but... All I know is you can't win this fight. There's no way you can win this fight. But... Does she talk or she stay... No, she doesn't talk. Um, so the whole game is based around this. This, this fight mechanic. It's a... Uh, little bit like Final Fantasy meets Pokemon. That's just Final Fantasy. I don't know why I'm bringing Pokemon into this. It's basically just Final Fantasy. Uh, which is probably why it got the hate it did. Because Final Fantasy is a much better game. I won't, I won't try and hide it from you guys. I love I love this game. Final Fantasy is a better game. All of the Final Fantasies are a better game. This is my favourite game. <laughs> this has been my favourite game for many, many years. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that this was my favourite game when I was a kid. So this, we got this brand new, 2006, maybe it's the year late 2007. Either way, I was only about 10 years old when this came out. And in the... Yeah, Age 10 is my f the first game I'd ever completed. I'd always believe that Toya was the greatest, the strongest. That he could do anything single-handed. Bear Bromance, go love it. That one day I would finally catch up with him, stand as his equal. I wished for that more than anything. So all of this is not in the PS3 version. The Golem War was the name given by future generations to a conflict that took place a thousand years ago. The Golems were artificial humanoid servants who were created during the war. I'm really sorry if you wanted to hear that or read that, but it goes on. Like, I soon fell asleep because it was so long. So apologies if you wanted to read that. Golems, with almighty powers, were created. These golems are known today as devil golems. Hey, Atsuma, come on, wake up. Professor Ko will see you. No, I can't eat anymore. However, debate still is <coughs> over Excuse whether me. these golems actually existed. Even here, at Enchant University, opinion remains divided. Impossible. Oh, Toya, just let that poor moron sleep. Nah, that wouldn't be fair. Not even Atsuma deserves to suffer the wrath of Professor Ko. It is said that in order to activate the almighty Devil Golems, special devices known as Magic Cores are required. Yeah, well, from where I'm sitting, it's exactly what he deserves. 
All right. Yes. <clears throat> That's enough revision for today. Time for a little enchant practice. Are you ready, Atsuma? Huh? What? Where? What's going on? So yeah, I will try not to speak for any of the cutscenes. And this is the talking. It's... But you don't really like listening to my lectures, it seems. Well... Do I lie to him or tell him the truth? I feel like I tell him the truth. I'm an honest man. I get a bit tired. It's just I get so tired in your lectures. Huh. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Thank you. Really? Thank you, Professor. See, this is what... Uh, this... Hi there, sorry about that. Uh, a blip for you guys, but my recording sense of stuff I cut out just a second, so I had to quickly get us back to where we were. Um, yeah, so they stopped talking randomly for no reason. We're not I'm not entirely sure why. Quite well they kept going, but maybe it's just because they didn't have a big enough budget to keep talking going the entire time. I don't know. I don't really question it. I just love the art, the art style, the costume style. But we'll just read it from now, shall we? So, well, Atsuma, you seem to be awake now. Let's just proceed to practical elements. Atsuma? Yes? Please come down to the front of the class. Okay. Today we're going to learn a little about golems and their functions. So golems are automatons. They're like robots made of magic kind of enchant stuff. Magic and enchants are similar but different. We can learn about that in a, bit, like, in a little bit, but... You can help me display the emergency self-defense system of a golem is fitted with. So yeah, so their f the fighting against golems isn't actually their natural abilities. Well, I mean, not all of them. Some of them are, are war-based, but most of them are just household items and pets. They all have a self-defense mechanism, which is what makes them attack and defend themselves. So what do I do? All you need to do is fight with these golems. That's all. You should have just said that right away, Professor. This is what I'm best at. Atsuma. Do you need me to explain how to fight? So I don't. I know how to fight. I've played this game so much. So I'm going to skip the tutorial on the fighting. I'm going to skip... I'm going to try and skip all the tutorials. I know what I'm doing with this game. But if anyone has any questions about how it works, just watch. You'll, you'll, you'll pick it up. I'm fine. I know all about this. Rare coming from you, but okay. I do have some learning ability, Professor. Really, then prove it. Fight. Now this bloke here, so he is a water element, and I am a fire element. You can see it by the little icons next to our names. Uh, so obviously, I see the fire. Fire beats water, water beats fire. It's kind of back on themselves, so... Each element has a pair, so you see I've got 56 PP, that's 56 power. When I hit him, it will double because I fire beats water and water beats fire. And also air and earth, which are counterpart twins, and light and dark. Excellent, Atsuma. Oh, shit. Pretty impressive, huh? Certainly. Incapacitating golems with fists alone. <laughs> you bet. Single brain cell alert. Atsuma seems to be satisfied anyway. So let's call it a day here. Make sure you practice what we have studied every day. Especially you, Atsuma. Okay, I love some real act. If only he threw that single brain cell into his studies with the same enthusiasm. But then he wouldn't be Atsuma anymore, would he? I just get so drowsy looking at textbooks and reading about magic techniques. That's just the way I am. Here's a better explanation. You're a dropout. Yes. <laughs> you hanging around <coughs> Toya makes him look bad, for sure. Well, he does always sleep during lessons. But he can perform powerful enchants from time to time, can't he? Luck, that's all. Luck. The way he does them is never in any textbook. It's just he sometimes gets good results. Come on, Toya, you mustn't give him any credit. Yeah, but if I've surpassed the textbooks already, that makes me a genius, right? <laughs> Certainly. Anyway, lessons are done for now, so let's go! To the cafeteria, then. After heading into the corridor from the lecture hall, go down the stairs, and that will lead you right to it. Uh... You do tend to forget things, Atsuma. Anyway, let's head down there. They need to be such a dumb person. 
I don't really want to play a dumb person, but okay. Lunch time at last. Atsuma, a moment of your time concerning your right arm. I think I'll have some interesting data to show you in a few days. Oh, okay. So, Ko's a bit. He's a bit weird. I like Professor Ko. I don't want to say too much because obviously I know the story happens to all of them, so I'm not going to blurt out or tell too much. This young lady here, I'm not going to talk. Actually, I will talk to her. Let's just talk to her because why not? At Suma. Sayori? I think it's Sayori. I'm not entirely certain. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologize. How, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good, good, good to hear that. Good. What's going to you now, Atsuma? Leave him be, Mikado. Atsuma is struggling with lost love right now. Shut up. Damn it, if only. I confessed to you sooner and been turned down right away. Turned down outright. I would have had closure. Poor Atsuma. Hee hee. You'd like to be able to redo things, would you? Go back and start again? Well, there's a way, perhaps. So yeah, she tells you about saving. So if I press Y at any point during the game to open the main menu, and then select save to save the game at any time. So it's really, that's all she's there for. The only reason she makes, they make her look different is so you talk to her and find out about saving. Otherwise you'd be lost. Look, Atsuma. That loser. Is he coming this way? What should we do? If his right arm touches us, we'll never enchant again! Oh, let's Toya! Is, is he coming this way? Toya! Oh. Duh. Why does Toya always get all the attention? Pay them no mind, Atsuma. We'll wait for you here if you want to go and buy your... What? You're not getting anything? I made enough for Toya, too. Oh, stop messing around and go buy some. Okay. Okay. So... What should I eat? We'll find out when we get to the counter. Um, Mikado has a thing for Toya. That's, that's kind of why he does what he does. I didn't know you could just get a chocolate bar. I didn't know you could just get a chocolate bar for lunch. I, I just saw a machine and went, mm, let's, let's play with this. Um I'm back. What? Just a candy bar. If I recall correct, that's a Mr. Macho. A mixture of chopped nuts, crispy rice, and caramel. The king size and extra sticky caramel give you plenty to get your teeth in. But still, you poor thing, eating only that for your entire lunch. Certainly nothing compared to my extra special Makoto Lum Lum. Yeah, Makoto has a thing for Toya. It's all cool. Bless him. Whoa. That does look good. Look all you want, you aren't getting any. Okay, you two. Let's eat. Oh, I'm stuffed. Full and content now, are we? Oh yeah, I couldn't eat another mouthful. Huh, well, maybe that's because you kept stealing my- Call me had a candy bar! I'm sure you are stuffed after all that. Just gonna eat sweets myself. <laughs> Give me a break, it would have just gone to waste. I got up early this morning to make that lunch for Toya. The finest, most carefully selected prawns for the sushi. Scallops and a rich mushroomy cream sauce. The special Makoto love omelet accompanied with the pinkest, not to mention the raspberry, pecan, chocolate chip cheesecake for dessert. I'm really hungry now. I need to, I need to remember not to do this when I haven't eaten much. Because now I'm hungry. I didn't go to all that trouble for you to see. That's really annoying. Makoto, I could never have eaten all that alone. Well, if you say so, Toya. But just you be grateful, you hear me? Oh, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your lunch is far better than anything the cafeteria. Of course it is. My love for Toya soaks into everything I make. So he's just all of that and bless him. I, I wish him the best, but he kind of weirds me out a touch. It's like, come on, man, we get you, love him. You brought heart-shaped boxes. Yeah, yeah, very impressive. In a scary way. I, I really do. I hope, I hope the best for him. Dismiss me then, why don't you? That's rich coming from you, Atsuma. 
So Toya, do you know what day it is today? It's your birthday, right? That's right. Wait, so it's Makoto's birthday. If Happy you birthday. So, Toya, from today on, to I'll change my birthday for you. No, no, that's not it either. And it's equally scary. See, that's always a bit of a dick, but we love him. Messing around with you. The preparations for the festival started early this morning in Yokohama. It would be impossible not to notice. That's right, the festival. And so there it is. I've been waiting for that face. He's planning something, something evil. This only comes once a year. Shouldn't we get there and have some fun, Toya? You're right. Once lessons finish. No, 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 no. That's no good. Let's cut classes this afternoon. <laughs> what? Shh. Keep your voice yeah. down. We should allow ourselves to skip lessons at least once a year. Once a year. You cut classes at least twice a week, Atsuma. Details, details. Come on then, Toya. Listen to yourself. I'm not talking to you, Makoto. Why do you always drag Toya into these crazy schemes, Atsuma? Because apparently Atsuma's a layabout and a little bit of a crazy person. What are you, his legal guardian or something? <laughs> legal guardian? Of course not. I'm his disciple of love. Oh, Makoto. I'm here to make sure that Toya, my pure angel, doesn't fall from grace. We're talking about cutting a few classes. Angels falling from grace. Psh, what nonsense. Nonsense? How dare you? Stop it, you two. You're embarrassing me. Just tell him straight out, Toya. No festival this afternoon. No, we're going. We're going, right, Toya? Come on. Say we're going. You're like a spoiled child. He is like a spoiled child. I'm not going to try to deny that. For today, Atsuma. Toya, you're too accommodating. Morons like him won't understand anything unless you spell it right out. Well, we are childhood friends. He may be spoiled, but he can also be kind of fun, you know? What? You never call me fun. Looks like I got another one up on you, Makoto. Why, you? If we're going to the festival, then we need to head for the trade district. Okay, but I need to do something first. Lunch for someone special. That's right. He'll be starving by now. That means we have to go to the sealed ward. It's east of the cafeteria, okay? So yeah, Makoto doesn't like Asuma because him and Toya are very close friends. I was going to upset us, right? I was wondering what that green block, block was. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've been reading this. The enchanters are pretty hard to get rid of, actually. Why don't you help them out? How? You can nullify enchantments, right? You should be able to break even these enchant reinforced boxes. What, you want me to smash them? If you do, the fragments could just get ne ne nicely cleaned away. Press A in front of a breakable object to smash it. Okay, cool. <coughs> you can also find items inside th these boxes. If you do, it's yours. Okay, then smash, smash, smash. I'd assume it became the Incredible Hulk. Whoop whoop, speed jam! Right, you guys can see the dog, right? That's my special buddy. We're gonna leave it here just before we go and see Kota. His name is Kota. I know that ahead of time. Because, you know, as I said, favourite game. I love it. But thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, we haven't really got into the action yet. I'm thinking by the end of episode. Two, we should be actually getting to the the main game. This is mostly just build up um, and set up. And it takes a while, so it's rather than me playing it and you guys getting bored, or me cutting out all of the relevant information you guys who haven't played this game need to know. I'm gonna leave it in, and then I'll cut out a lot of the battles going back and forth. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the, to the channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Catch you later.